Sanctuary needs healing. It has been a while. The wounds are festering. Where art thou the new patch? Hello everyone, this is the Holy Hermit and today we'll be looking at Diablo 3. A lot has changed since last time. A few new things have been added for the new patch changes. Patch 1.0.7 updates that is. So I'll be looking at these new changes introduced in the system. How is that going to affect our gear specs and more importantly will the playstyle change after all? Starting off with the biggie, we look at PvP. We all know how it works by now, right? You go and see Nick the Brawler, he takes you to this place and then well, you start fighting. The map of course, one of the maps we're looking at right now is the one in Act 1, it's a direct copy. But the issues that are being addressed by Blizzard right now are the player damage. A lot of damage is done to players right now, so there are chances when you almost get one-shotted all the time. You walk into a fight and there's someone lurking behind the corner and there it is. Well, part of the problem I personally do agree with Blizzard is players using certain specific builds. It's not a farming game now, so H Hota build, well, Whirlwinds or Monk Serenity build, they're all not going to work now are they? So there must be a different change introduced to the system and that must always come from the player side. On Blizzard's side, they are agreeing, they have agreed to this that yes, the damage dealt from player to another player is quite high and they are going to look into this. Going back to the previous video I made on how to well, get actually get make money from the new patch, I have more information on that and I'm glad to say I was right after all. Bonus damage to elite will now be included in the next patch, as in the bonus damage to elite's bonus you get from hitting an elite. That is the same bonus you will get if you fight another player. So all the items which have that kind of stat on it are going to get a lot of improvement. If you look at Auction House, another big change has been seen now. Any item with a higher block chance, the price has gone up significantly. Well, it hasn't gone up by that much right now, so if you still want to get it, well, by all means to go and get one, I guess. The first item we all know about is a shield. Well, dual wielding works for monks, it also works for barbs, but there are occasions when a good block chance can definitely save your life. So getting a thing like Storm Shield is definitely one of the most necessities in the game. A few little items that were overlooked earlier, almost no one cared about them, are actually being well. The price is going up. Something like a Justice Lantern which gives you a block chance. It's a rare ring you equip on your hand. I'm sorry, it's a legendary ring you put on your hand and it gives you increased block chance. Something like Helm of Command as well. You can get that on any stat you want, it's not only a strength item, it can even hold crit on it. So that's another item that's, well, the price is increasing. As I mentioned earlier, Stone of Jordan, the price is skyrocketing right now. If you want a m fancy monk skill like, well, Fist of Thunder, sky's the limit right now. The rings are going up to even 500 million. That's a lot. So there are a few changes around it, but most importantly we would have to understand, and I'll be making videos as soon as the patch come live of, live of course, is the build we're going to look at. In my personal humble opinion, almost all the skills, almost all the damage we are going to deal, is going to come, come from us movement, imp well, from us movement impairing the other player, as in stopping him dead in his track, even control impairing, as in him not being able to do anything. So all the skills would be centered around buffs and debuffs, trying to get away from a sticky situation and put another person in one I guess. So skills like for a monk it would be something like well blinding flash times that with something else like fear from your healing. For barbarian we all know the mighty ground stomp right? Things like that will get a lot of improvement. Well they will after all because you'll be using a lot of them. So all in all, when looking at the new patch, some items have gone up, but most importantly, the whole thing that you can get out of this video, in my humble opinion, would be to change the gameplay, to change the game style, how you would tackle an opponent. It's not any mindless mob anymore, you'll be fighting a real enemy, a real person, who can think as well as you can. So the idea would then be to come up with a build set, a unique set of your own, that can help you there. That's the PvP news for you. They are also addressing a few issues, minor issues, like once you finish the fight and you go back to town, some of the debuffs that you carry on you, or I don't know, something like re reflect damage or fire damage that's been casted upon you during the fight, it carries on to you in the, well, in the normal town, which will actually end up killing you. So that these are minor things that definitely will be addressed by Blizzard by the time patch comes out. But one thing that will definitely straight stay true is the bonus damage to Elite. And the, and the prevalent and, well, the ever-increasing effect of item with the high block chance. 
Monks especially can benefit a lot from that since we have a higher dot chance and if you add a bit of block to it, well, we almost become like an unstoppable tank. Moving on to the next bit, next important thing in my opinion is gem crafting. As I said earlier, you need three stars, three radiant star, what, whatever gem you're after, it could be rubies, emeralds, anything, times that with demonic essence and 20 million gold and you can actually craft one of the marquee gems for you. Well, there's a little bad news about them. Once you do craft them and if you want to unsocket them, it's going to cost you 5 million gold. So that's quite a lot, is it not? But there's a silver lining in these clouds. Even if, even though the price is so high of unsocketing an item, rubies have gained a significant improvement. Earlier, back in the days, as in the current days right now, the only way to get maximum DPS out of your build is to put an emerald in your weapon. Well, if your skills are based on flat out damage, something like an arcane hydra build, then the better option would definitely be to put a ruby in there. So, here's another viable option for us that also would help us to reduce the price of emeralds in the whole game, as in the auction house, and we all do welcome a new change, a new system to get, get more DPS out of it. So these are the big changes for gems for you. To make one it's going to cost 20 million, to unsocket one it's going to cost 5 million, and of course they'll be account bound once they are created, these Marquis gems. I hope you like this silly video of mine. Not a lot has been introduced in the patch, well these big changes have been I guess, but most of them are my predictions, the kind of items that very well can be used in the new patch. This is the Holy Hermit for you, I hope you all have a nice day ahead. I'm out now, bye.